Hello everyone man, it's 3.30 in the morning here and I've just picked up super hot last night but I went to bed at 7 so I'll wake up super early, pop one, go for a walk um, and I've just chopped it open and it doesn't look like there's much placenta so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, as I said it didn't grow right and it's my second one, all the rest are green and I've been hanging for this one just to turn um, yellow so now I'm going to give it a crack. Like here's like this half here, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't look like much placenta. So I'm going to have the other half and hopefully there's something in there. I'll do it now, alright. Okay, one, two, three. starting to feel a bit of heat straight up normally that's a good sign normally that means within another 30 seconds or so things are going to be really hot ah. Ah, there. it's my second one from that plant ah. and I was hoping like that because I've been eating Trinidad scorpions like candy and like <sighs> as I said water makes it worse you know sort of getting the bitter taste out your mouth it's alright as I said that scorpion Trinidad um to eat in scorpion trinidad ads and I need these other soup arts to get the effect um, yeah I'm not saying it's not a very hot effect I think it could be a bit better like my last one I suppose, I suppose it done the job, didn't it? You know, I shouldn't complain. You know, my other one, I had about a third of it. Done good. This one I've had half because it didn't look like much placenta. Oh, I gave it a good chew. Ah. As I said, I'm not swallowing these days. Shakes your guts. Shakes your intestines. Ah. It's no pleasure when it's in your stomach in here, so you might as well just spit goes down on in your gut or out in your mouth. Makes no difference. And um, I'll tell you what I've been doing, and you're going to think I'm a bit of sicko. Because it's waste not, want not, look at this. I've been making some tea. No, I'm going to show you. 
I won't show you. Unless I'm not wasting it. You know, I told my friend what I've been doing with the leftovers, so. Yeah. Ah, nasty. Ah. 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 This is in my past feeds I used to have relief. Um, what do you call those things? Ice cream. Cordial. Um, bit of bourbon. But now I'm just going hardcore. And I'm in training. As I said, I've got three Carolina Reaper plants on the way. And the heat's insane. Yeah, so yeah, I think... I can't complain what the job is did or done. As I said, I mean, Pop and Scorpion Trinidad's and they haven't been doing the job. And this stuff does the job. Downside, when they start to turn yellow, they take six days at least to fully ripen. This one's not ripen. You're sitting there looking at them. I've got, who knows, some nice big ones coming. And, oh my God, it's got to wait. And that's why with me, I so Scorpion Trinidad just popping them. Um, the plant can't keep up with me, you know. My other plant's taking ages just to get, you know, a ripe one and go. And this is my second ripe one. The rest of the greens, I'm like a week away from my next harvest. That's why I'm growing like 15 plants. And as I said, chocolate bootler, um, some... Marugas, chocolate maruga, two million, and as I said, hydroponic boosts the heat level up, in my opinion. Um, as it does other things you grow, so I do believe these chilies are hotter than if you grow them in soil, in my opinion. I'd like to know if anyone else has done this. It's just they are growing a, like a reaper versus hydro reaper. Like I've had, um, as I said, like this hot. Carolina Reaper sauce, I don't know how many Reapers are in it, um, but eating a Hydro Reaper really hit, hit me hard, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to go walking, signing off, it's 4am, um, as I said the show's on, let's have a look at the show, it's about hostages, people, you know, being held for money or it's called locked up abroad. Yeah, you know, they do bad things or get taken hostage and they tell their stories living in horrible, horrible um, situations. But before I go, I want to share a story. Let's share a story before I go. Oh, yeah. Um, my gut's a bit raw for some reason. I didn't swallow it. But I was watching this story that this guy got kidnapped. Um, and he was a businessman, got kidnapped in Mexico. And I shipped him off and, and I know for months he was um, going through the jungle. It's one of the best stories I've ever heard with like these, you know, small army, outlaw army, Colombians, whoever they were. Um, and um, like as I said, some part of the story that um, they come across a crate because there's other people above them and they live in supplies and we're talking like a crate. You know, I don't know, three by three would be a good estimate. And they had like cocaine, which, um, alcohol, um, you name it, food. And, and these guys are just having this party. And this guy says they're all off their heads. And, and he thought he was going to get shot because they were just shooting their machine guns like no tomorrow. Um, yeah, so, but going on in the story, like there was even women in this army. But, um, Towards the end, also the villagers used to, what's the word, look after these people, you know, and, um, and then one of these army guys um, went on, stole one of the villagers' goat or sheep or something, and, um, you know, and this they could have killed it, and, and the guy who was in boss, man, he flipped right out, he flipped right out that his um, fellow soldier did this, because he goes, no, we rely on these villagers for survival, how dare you mistreat them? And this guy went through such a panic and frantic, and even the hostage guy tried to calm him down, saying, you know, 
um, you know, it's all right, man, you know, I'm with you, man, like, I'm going to help you, whatever I can, I'm going to help you. But this guy let that situation get to him that much, he took a gun and he, sh and he blew his brain, so he committed suicide over someone else pinching a sheep or something, you know? And then, in the story, and then all the soldiers did, after that they had a big barbecue, sat down and ate it. Um, and so, it's sort of a, it's a true story, but there's something to think about this, that sometimes you can make things a bigger issue than they need to be. He let that affect him to some extreme um, situation, which you shouldn't. So this is in life that, you know, sometimes we shouldn't, you know, some circumstances suck and some can last years, you know, and send us crazy. But it's hard, you know, we shouldn't focus on certain things, you know. Sometimes we can make things worse by our own thoughts. Anyhow, everybody, I'm signing out. Have a good day. Goodbye.